Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today we're going to go over our vitals class. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and Mono Development. And let's start off with the summary at the top for the class. Alright, so the name of the class, vital.cs. Uh, the date would be September 10th. And my name. And then a brief description of what the class does. So the vitals class. This class contains all the extra functions for a character's vitals. Okay, so current value. This is just a private integer. Uh, this is the current value of this vital. So for instance, if a character has, let's say, 100 health, and he takes a few whacks, and he's you know, down to 80 health, the current value will actually be the 80 health. So our constructor, and I'm going to add my debug log statement here. And I'm just going to say vital created. Now the current value. It returns an int and it has a getter and a setter. So we're going to say when getting the Curval value, make sure that it is not greater than our adjusted base value. If it is, make it the same as our adjusted base value. So what we're doing here when we're getting the method is we're actually going to check the value that we have stored in our current value and we're going to compare it against this adjusted base value and if it is greater than the adjusted base value then we're going to set the current value to equal the adjusted base value. So again if your character has 100 health then uh, you know he takes a few acts, goes down to 80, and let's say he uses some healing potion that gives him 25 back. Well, that would make him up his current value go up to 105, and we don't want that. So we'll have it automatically check, and if the current value is greater than your adjusted value, then your current value is going to equal that adjusted value. Then of course, after we're done that, we just return the current value, and the setter is. Just like all the other setters we've done so far, we just take the variable we want to assign a value to and we're going to assign it the value that's passed into here. Okay, so let's go down here. Vital name. Uh, this enumeration is just a list of the vitals. Our character will have. And again, if you want more, add as many as you want. Uh, just make sure the last one doesn't have a comma. That's pretty much about it. There we go. Vitals class should be done. I'm just going to check it in Unity. No errors. Good. I'll see you in the next video.